In this brief video, we'll take a look at how legal users want to be able to manage their Outlook emails and attachments in SharePoint Online. We're in the desktop version of Microsoft Outlook. The macro view pane on the right displays the structure of our Office 365 SharePoint Online document store. It contains a site called Atlas Funds Management, which in turn is a matters library with a number of document sets, each of which relates to a matter. The 1021 sample matter document set is currently empty. When it comes to saving Outlook emails to SharePoint, legal and other users definitely want to be able to drag and drop to save. Here's an email from Michael Hurst which contains a DOCX attachment. We can drag and drop to save it to our sample matter area. As we've seen, we were not prompted for metadata and yet the attributes of the email have been recorded automatically. A formatted preview that shows attachments is also a wanted feature. Back in our inbox we can see something else which users want which is the ability to drag and drop to save attachments separately. It's nice to see the current user displayed as the default value of this person or group column called author and to be able to type ahead to choose a value for document type. If there are characters in the file name which are invalid in this version of SharePoint they should be removed automatically as they have been here. Having saved emails marked as saved to SharePoint is good, but some organizations would prefer the ability to have them automatically deleted from the inbox once they're saved to SharePoint. MacroView allows this as well. Something else that MacroView allows is to have the email body and attachments split off and saved separately as part of the same drag and drop action. Let's try both the automatic delete and that new setting. Let's try it with this separate email from Michael Hurst. We drag and drop. This time the body and attachments are split. We don't have to watch the save proceed, it happens in the background. Clicking on our matter area and going to the All Documents view, sorting by modified date, we see the newly split attachment and the body of the second email. Back in our inbox, let's have a look at something else which legal and other users need, which is the ability to easily file emails in bulk. Let's select nearly 20 emails and drag and drop them to the sample matter area. We don't have to watch the save proceed because it should happen in the background. Meanwhile, we can continue working in Outlook to read other emails, send other emails, etc. The bulk email saved is now completed and those emails have been deleted from our inbox. If we click on the matter area and sort by modified date, we see the newly saved emails at the top of the list, along with the emails and other documents that we saved previously. Another wanted feature is the automatic prevention of duplicates in the event that other recipients were to attempt to save the same email to with this matter area. MacReview achieves this by the way it automatically names the MSG files that result from a drag and drop save. Legal users send and receive lots of emails, so they need email filing to be as smart as possible, including by having the system automatically suggest locations for filing incoming and outgoing emails and having the emails that they send and received filed automatically. Here's an email from Andrew Han. Let's drag it to the drag files here drop zone at the top of the macro review pane. The system suggests locations for filing that email. Let's have a look at the first of those locations. Here are the files already stored in that area. Let's go ahead and save this new email there as well. Now that the email is saved, a special filing tag has been automatically appended to the subject. This will allow subsequent emails in the same conversation to be filed automatically in the same area within SharePoint Online. For example, here's another email that already has a filing tag. Let's drag it to the drop zone and the filing tag tells MacReview where that email should be filed. For more information about filing emails and attachments in Office 365 SharePoint Online, contact MacReview using these details.